I don't think there's any one secret to creating an amazing ceremony. There's definitely ingredients though, but there are also things that can wreck a ceremony in a heartbeat. If a ceremony feels boring, awkward or irrelevant, it is over. The guests will shut down, smile politely and be grateful when it's over. Creating an amazing ceremony though, isn't about trying to avoid those negative outcomes. It's about creating something so special and so meaningful that the atmosphere never even drifts in that direction. I think that Jake is such a special person. He is a very unique celebrant and I have been to many weddings, but no celebrants compare to him. When we first met Jake, we knew straight away he's the one. If the ceremony is unique and personal and delivered with passion and care, there's no way it will be boring. And if any humour that's used is relevant to the couple, their journey, their personalities, and it's delivered with warmth, then there's no way it will feel awkward. And if the whole theme of the wedding is the couple getting married, rather than it just being another lecture on love, then there's no way that that ceremony will feel irrelevant. We were so nervous about the ceremony uh, that we were going to have two separate events with just the ceremony, just Carl and I. Um, then we met with Jake and he just put all of our nerves at ease. Um, and then we're so glad that we had a ceremony now because it was our favorite part of the day. And my biggest concern would have been standing there and being center of attention in front of everyone. But with, after speaking to Jake and talking about ideas, I actually really enjoyed it and had lots of fun being the centre of attention. <laughs> <laughs> a great ceremony should captivate the guests' attention right from the outset, and it should serve as a reminder to the couple getting married why they're getting married in the first place and what makes their relationship so unique and so special. So I'm a bit of a control freak and for me to let go and invest in somebody else running the wedding and having everything sort of run so smoothly as it did um, was just perfect. Um, I couldn't fault um, the way and the order of the night. It was, yeah, the best decision that I made. Us making the decision to be an MC, it was, um, I think it was a pretty important decision and, and it worked. Yeah. It really, really worked I, well. I think you were a little bit skeptical at the start about, you know, I guess giving that role to someone who didn't know us yes. though. You didn't want it to be cheesy? No. It was nothing like it. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. And he had our sense of humour, he allowed us to party, um, but also was able to bring that sense of romance and love. It was perfect. My job is to make the whole process, the legals, the lead up to the wedding and the ceremony itself as stress-free, exciting and enjoyable as possible. Well, we were looking for someone who was super organized, uh, super personal. Also really caring and really helpful. And I guess that's just why we knew Jake was the right one to book. After the ceremony, we got so many compliments about how fun and entertaining it was. Fun, entertaining, personal, meaningful. We loved it. My name's Jake Smith. I'm a marriage celebrant and I'd love to help with your wedding.